Be happy? Yeah, well, that's it now. At the end of the cook, I'm going through my mind thinking about all the steps. I'm relieved it's done, but there's still that little bit of anxiety with the cake slightly bulging. And I'm just fingers crossed that I've done enough to stay in. First thing I do is put a ginger crumb down on the bottom. Next step, uh, put some passion fruit bavoir down. On top of that, I need three balls of the coconut chew. I've got to place six of the candy pecans down. I've picked the best of a bad bunch. I think they're all right, like they taste all right to me, but I'm just worried how the judges are gonna take them. And at this stage of the game, that one little element could be enough to send me home. So I get off the second layer, I get one half of the cake in, I'm trying to put the other half and it's not fitting. I'm confused as to why. I've, I've cut out equal circles here. I really don't know why this isn't fitting. I'm starting to get frustrated and I start pushing it down. <laughs> Really needs to take more time and care when he's assembling his cake, otherwise it's gonna look sloppy. Come on, Ray, come on! I managed to squeeze it in. I just hope it doesn't start bulging when I finish the cake. Make yours the best, Ray. Come on, mate. Fingers crossed that it holds when I take it out of the freezer. Well done, Ray. It's looking good, buddy. So I've taken my cake out of the blast chiller now. It's a moment of truth. It's time to start decorating. This cake's such a beautiful cake. I'm a bit worried that my uh, crane driver hands don't really have the finesse required for such a beautiful thing. Oh, oh, oh. OK, yeah, go, go, keep going, keep going. Yes, Petey. That's good. Yeah. Nice job, Petey. Well done. Well done, man. So I've got my cake. It's time to channel my inner artist and uh, get this thing looking pretty. I'm not really known for my finesse, but uh, we'll see how my decorating skills go today. Pete's like a big, tough Aussie guy, so, you know, looking at him um, working with his fat fingers on this little cake is, is quite, it's quite funny. He's doing such a good job with it. I'm almost finished but I've got to get my pineapple crisps on. I've got my ginger crumb and the wax flowers. I've got to place them around nice daintily to make it look pretty. This is the fun part for me. I'm just adding so many things on top of this cake. I love it. It's food art and I'm enjoying every moment of it. Work. I'm really happy with the taste of my cake, but I'm worried that the shape is changing as I've been decorating. It's starting to bulge slightly at the sides, and my crumb base is a bit thick. Come on, come on. Time is just going so quickly, and it's going to be a bit of a push for decorating the cake. 30 seconds! really proud of my efforts today. I think, think my friends and family at home would be really proud of me. I think I've replicated Andy Bowdy's cake really good today, but uh, it all comes down to the taste. I can't believe four and a half hours is up. It was so daunting in the beginning, but I'm so pleased I managed to finish every single element and it's complete. God. Happy, happy? Yeah, well, that's it now. At the end of the cook, I'm going through my mind thinking about all the steps. I'm relieved it's done, but there's still that little bit of anxiety with the cake slightly bulging. And I'm just fingers crossed that I've done enough to stay in. I'm really happy with my cake today, but um, you know, I'm, I'm not happy with the candied pecans. Uh, they're a little bit burned. And at this stage of the game, that one little element could be enough to send me home.
How good does that look? Amazing. Hey? Amazing. How, the, those little legs of caramel are so like, thick and bold. I love the way the meringue is kind of dripping off the side of the cake. He's definitely nailed this one. The structure's amazing. The meringue on top's great. He hasn't really been afraid to give it a bit of colour. It actually looks great. I know it's not part of the recipe to have burnt pecan nuts. I got a couple. I love them, because mm. <laughs> they just give this really savoury note to the dish. He has burnt the pecans. He attempted to make them again, which, you know, you got to give him credit for. Maybe I might start adding burnt pecans to mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite nerve-wracking now, because I know now's the moment of truth. I'm a little bit worried the cake's slightly bulging and maybe the base a bit thicker. I'm just hoping that flavor can carry me through and save me from being eliminated. How close does that resemble uh, your cake, Andy? In comparison to one of mine, it's a little bare on top. I would have given it a little bit more color with the meringue. I can notice that there's bulges on the sides of it. Um, I guess it's just going to come down to how it tastes. Go out and see a meal. In terms of flavour, that ginger cake's got a beautiful spice here. The pineapple in there, that's caramelised. Um, the, the, the dried pineapple on the top. Love the passion fruit flavour. Love the little pockets of the coconut cream that he's dotted through that as well. And also the chewy texture too of the that sort of coconut uh, chew. He's, he's actually done really well with a lot of the elements, but obviously you can clearly see that there's bulges on the sides of it and the actual crumb at the base itself, mm. I found that quite hard. A couple of mistakes, that's for sure. That's, uh, th that's a problem. Shall we get the next cake in? Yeah. I'm so proud that I actually completed Andy's recipe and completed a beautiful cake. My only concern is the passion fruit bavoir may not be as light as it should be. What do you reckon? Look. I think she's actually done a fantastic job. It, it, it looks slightly different to what I do. What she has done is, you know, that beautiful chaos that is so much a part of the look of your cake is absolutely there, and I think that, that that's a real uh, that's a real joy to see. Yeah, that's great work. Right, let's taste. Let's see inside. Go for it, Andy. Biscuity base looks nice and thin, which is good.
think my comments on this one is overall it's just a lot heavier. So the elements are heavier. The, the passion fruit bavoir is firm, not a lot of aeration in it at all. So then it feels quite gelatin heavy, which your original one isn't at all. You don't get that feeling and texture. Um, <clears throat> meringue is a problem. Yeah, I kind of feel that the meringue is quite grainy. It's very soft. On the plus side, you've got a really nice thin biscuit base. Yep. Um, which is, you know, much more in line with yours than, say, Ray's, which was super thick and chunky. She's done a great job because, as a whole, the cake actually looks pretty good. Yeah. It's also really straight. You know what I mean? It like is. It's, uh, Ray's was kind of bulging a little bit, but this is kind of the opposite. Yeah, isn't structurally, it? it's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I think that in terms of its integrity, um, it, it looks so good before we cut it. So, mm -hmm. certainly some positives. Definitely. That was an intense cook. Four and a half hours. <laughs> and regardless of the outcome, we have to say that we're proud of you guys. And you should be proud of yourselves. Especially because Andy told us that this is the first time that anyone has actually made one of his cakes from a recipe. Unfortunately, though, this is a competition. And one of you is about to go home. But we know who won't be going home. There was one absolute standout. Well done, Pete. <laughs> well done. Thanks, guys. You happy? <laughs> oh, relieved? Oh, so relieved. Well done. Thanks. I'm feeling electric at the moment, you know. I've absolutely nailed it. You know, I, I couldn't be happier and I'm just stoked that I'm not going home. So, Ray, here it comes down to the two of you and it comes down to the cake that you cooked. Ray, you were generous in the spice in your ginger cake. You were generous with your coconut cream and your pineapple jam. And you were generous with your passion fruit bavoir. But your ginger crumb base was thick and your cake bulged slightly at the sides. Pierre, your cake may not have been as high as Ray's, but it was perfectly shaped and was far more generously topped. Your biscuit base was beautifully thin, but your meringue was soft and sugary. The real trouble was here that that bavoir was too dense and that's why I'm sorry you're going home.